These days, it seems like everyone and their dog has a website plus a blog or two. Back in the 90s, that wasn't the case. The early pioneers of the web forged new paths for information sharing and socializing. This week, we meet Dr. Wu Zhaoxing, who became internet famous in the 90s for his medical information. Now, 92, Dr. Wu is still enjoying life well into his second online career, researching the Taiwanese language. Hepatology expert Dr. Wu Zhaoxing created his own website before it was a thing to share medical information. Now 92, he can still navigate comfortably between two screens and enjoys digital life. I started at the end of 1995. Taiwan had got the internet and honestly I knew absolutely nothing about computers. I didn't know how to do it. I was just painting by numbers the way everyone did it, doing medical education online. After a few years, five or six years, or maybe a decade or so, I got into the Taiwanese language education because my father was a scholar of Taiwanese and researched that language his whole life. Having retired from leading the preventative medicine department of his local health bureau at 62, Dr. Wu dedicated himself fully to his online work. <laughs> I often went to the library on my bike in the early days. After the internet, it was like all the books in the world were brought right to your desk. It was unbelievably convenient. Most days, Dr. Wu chats online with his son and granddaughter in the U.S. His online work is not confined to his own website. He also serves as administrator for more than 40 Facebook groups, and he likes ordering deliveries on mobile apps. His favorite indulgence is a tub of ice cream. Many older adults are anxious about the health impact of such rich treats. To be honest, I don't have any specific practices to cultivate my health. I'm just natural. I eat when I want to eat. I sleep when I want to sleep. You don't have to overthink it. Do the things you like to do each day. Exercise just for the sake of it, not for some goal. Dr. Wu doesn't let his age hold him back from enjoying life. He says his biggest joy now is Taiwanese language education and researching haikus. He maintains an active social life online. And the secret to his health and happiness also lies with his happy marriage and his wife's loving company.